There are hundreds and hundreds of skins inside of Brawl Stars and today we are going to be taking a look at the best skins for every brawler in Brawl Stars. To start things off, let's talk about the best skin for Shelly which is going to be Witch Shelly. Witch Shelly has custom animations and custom sounds which makes it special and higher in value compared to the other ones. Plus it's part of the Brawloween skins which are seasonal. This skin is actually exclusive meaning never coming back again and the Hoot Hoot Shelly is the color variation of this skin. Next, the best skin for Nita is gonna be Tusk Nita. Tusk Nita has a custom pet model for Bruce that turns him into an elephant which matches the theme very well. The skin also comes with custom effects, animations, sounds, voice, texture, a custom takedown, and all of the cosmetics. Even though it is a 299 gem skin, if price wasn't in the equation, you'd all love this skin. Next, the best skin for Colt is gonna be Mecha Colt. Winner of the Mecha Colt skin poll and also an entry for the Supercell Mate campaign, this skin reigns supreme as the best Colt skin. The skin also comes with custom effects, animations, sounds, voice, texture, a custom takedown, and all of the cosmetics. It's definitely worth the price of a legendary skin. Next is Bowl, and his best skin is gonna be Space Ox Bowl. Space Ox Bowl is by far the most value for your buck. This skin has custom animations and a custom voice. This skin sounds different than all the other bowl skins, with some exclusive voice lines included. Alley Cat Bowl is a really clean looking skin, but without the custom voice, it won't beat out Space Ox Bowl. Next, the best skin for Brock is gonna be Zeus Brock. Zeus Brock gets the hate for being a mythic skin. However, you are paying for the skin, the custom animations, and all of the cosmetics as well. Shooting bolts of lightning and having it rain lightning bolts from the sky matches Brock as a brawler that is known for making it rain. Next, El Primo's best skin is gonna be El Quarterback. The newest El Primo skin to be released inside of Brawl Stars is an absolute banger. It's got the custom animations, texture, and all the cosmetics included. It has the amazing effects when you use your super and land showing the touchdown. The main attack punching effect is also really unique to El Quarterback. Next is gonna be Barley and his best skin is gonna be Sway Master Barley. Sway Master Barley first off has the best animation out of all the barley skins. Also, the effect from his attacks are really clean and super unique. He's also exclusive since he is from the Lunar Brawl event, making him rarer to see throughout the game. Next, Poco's best skin is gonna be Trash Poco. Trash Poco isn't trash in that kind of way. He's got the custom animations, custom sounds from his attacks and supers, plus the custom texture. He is rocking out all throughout the game and the custom sounds he plays sets him apart from all the other Poco skins. Next is Rosa's best skin, Coco Rosa. Coco Rosa dancing along her coconut plant is just hilarious. She's got the custom animations and texture that makes her really unique. She's jamming out, punching the enemies with their coconuts, and being from Hawaii myself, this just gets some extra brownie points. Next is gonna be Jesse's skin, Scotty Jesse. Even though the skin isn't out yet by the time I'm recording this video, this is hands down the best Jesse skin in the game. Being the only mythic skin Jesse has, it will have the custom texture animations, effects, and cosmetics in the offer. Not only is it a clean looking skin, it gives off a totally different vibe that none of the other Jesse skins have in the game. Next is gonna be Dynamite skin Dynasty Mike. The newest Dynamite skin is taking the game by storm. Only claimable from a ranked star drop makes it that much more exclusive. It's got the custom animations and custom effects that are really unique. I mean, he's throwing gems for his main attack. Dyna being a salt and matches him well and him hugging that gem in his animation is comical. Next is gonna be Tick skin Cerberus Tick. Cerberus Tick is the only mythic skin that Tick has and it's a banger. He's got the custom effects with his super and main attack. He's also got the custom animations which are super dope and he's got all of the cosmetics since it is a mythic skin after all. It's unique that he has little faces on his hands and the effects of the mind staying on the ground are really cool. Next is gonna be 8-bit skin Virus 8-bit. Virus 8-bit could arguably be one of the best skins in the entire game. This skin has been out for years now and it is still a community favorite. This skin has it all. It's got the custom effects, animations, 
voice, texture, and all of the cosmetics as well. Although it is a legendary skin, this is a skin that is definitely deserving of the status because it just transforms 8-bit into this evil, corrupted version of himself that makes him look so intimidating. Next is gonna be Rico skin, Guard Rico. Guard Rico is the only Rico skin in the game with a custom voice, already setting him levels above the other Rico skins. The animation is another thing, it's really unique with Rico ordering the lamb to attack wherever he's pointing. I mean, it's genius as a guard. He looks evil with that massive eyebrow and you don't want to be messing with him. Next is gonna be Daryl's skin, Cupcake Daryl. Cupcake Daryl is a goofy looking skin, isn't it? However, that is what makes him that much more unique and different than the other Daryl skins. He does have the custom texture and animation which makes him valuable. It's funny when you see a robot inside of a cupcake shooting frosting and confetti and then rolling on you to kill you. Next is gonna be Penny skin, Smuggler Penny. Smuggler Penny has the clean looking brawler model along with the custom animations, effects, and texture that just round out this good looking skin. Her new attack looks much cleaner with her shooting the ball of plasma? Oh my god, who the hell cares? Also with her new cannon shooting that ball of plasma makes it look really polished as well. Next is gonna be Carl's skin, Sultan Carl. Sultan Carl is part of the Sands of Time collection which is home to many amazing skins. What's cool about this skin is that he is on a flying carpet, not even touching the ground, kinda like his skin Surfer Carl. However, with the unique animation and him shooting his crescent moon at the enemies, it's just the cherry on top to this amazing skin. Next is gonna be Jackie's skin, Ultra Drill. Jackie. Ultra Driller Jackie is without a doubt the best Jackie skin. It's got the custom effects, animations, texture, and custom voice. None of the other Jackie skins have a custom voice, making this one very special. The animation of her spinning around on top of the drill that's connected to her head is genius, and the drill that she's even riding on has a face itself. Now the best skin for Gus is gonna be World Champion Gus. World Champion Gus is another no doubter, being the only epic Gus skin and also being one of the four Brawl Stars Championship skins, which makes it really exclusive. It's got the custom effects, animations, and texture, along with the cool championship trophy projection coming out of his phone. Brownie points for making his crown out of balloons too. Well played Supercell, well played. Next is gonna be Bow Skin Underworld Bow. Underworld Bow being such a good looking skin for the price of an epic is an absolute steal. It's got the custom effects, texture, and animations. Him pulling his bow out from the ground making it seem like it's coming from the underworld amplifies the skin that much more. You can't go wrong with this amazing skin for the price value. Next is gonna be Ems' skin, DJ Ems. DJ Ems is one of the skins that are actually made from the Supercell Mate campaign, kinda like Underworld Bow. This skin has the custom effects, texture, and animations, all at the price of being an epic skin. She also has the special digital mask on her face that changes designs every now and then, and that's pretty neat. Next is gonna be Stew skin, Jock Stew. Jock Stew is such a hated skin because it's a legendary skin. People love Headless Rider Stew or Santa Stew, but this one realistically takes the cake. It's got the custom effects, animations, voice, texture, custom takedown, and all the cosmetics. Everything you could possibly want in a good looking legendary skin. The custom voice lines making Stu really sound like that stereotypical jock is what sets him apart from all of his other skins. Now the best skin for Piper is gonna be Flag Bearer Piper. Despite Piper having plenty of amazing skins, Flag Bearer Piper takes this one home. The custom animation of her dancing is something the other skins don't have. The main attack projectile transforms into a color changing burn the farther it travels and now her super spawns beating drums that explode. She also spins around in the air when using her super. It's just overall a very well designed skin. Next is gonna be Pam skin Evil Queen Pam. Evil Queen Pam is a skin in its own tier. She's got everything that a legendary skin has such as custom effects, animations, voice, texture, and all the cosmetics. She's got her dragon captive on her back 
shooting out flames while the dragon is crying the whole time. She truly is an evil queen. Next is gonna be Frank skin Venara Frank. Venara Frank is the only mythic skin that Frank has and it does not disappoint. He's got the custom effects, animations, texture, and all the cosmetics to go with it. Part of the very few skins in the Warrior's Journey collection, which also makes this skin special and more rare to see throughout the game. Next skin is gonna be BB skin Thor BB. Even though Thor BB isn't out yet by the time I am making this video, this is still the best BB skin in the game. Becoming one of the newest legendary skins, it's got it all. It has the custom effects, animations, texture, voice, custom takedown, and all the cosmetics as well. I mean, her super is literally Mjolnir bouncing around the map like wow. Next is gonna be B skin Mega Beetle B. Mega Beetle B is the only B skin in the game with a custom voice. She also has custom animations, effects, and texture. Now, people may argue that the other B skins are better, but since this one actually has a custom voice, the value is uncanny for the price of Mega Beetle B. Next is gonna be Nani skin Ares Nani. Ares Nani is the only mythic skin that Nani has. She's got the custom effects, animations, texture, and cosmetics as well. She also has the custom sounds that you can hear whenever she shoots her main attack. It is totally different than her default skin. So that's another reason why this skin is just superior compared to the others. Next is gonna be Edgar skin Mecha Edgar. This one goes out to all you 10 year old Edgar mains out there. One of the couple of Mecha skins in the game, Mecha Edgar took the community by storm. This is a legendary skin so it has the custom effects, animations, voice, texture, takedown, and cosmetics. Brownie points since the arms in the back kind of give me auto Octavius vibes. Next is gonna be Griff skin Sunken Chest Griff. Sunken Chest Griff is unlike anything you'll see from a Griff skin. He literally has his head inside of a treasure chest with teeth. He also has the evil red eyes that are different compared to his normal eyes that he has on his other skins. It's got the custom effects, animations, and texture to back up how great this skin is. Next is gonna be Grom skin Desis Grom. Desis Grom is the only mythic skin that Grom has, making it that much better. He's got the custom effects, animations, texture, and cosmetics as well. Just the skins having the floating desist themed buds around him already amplifies how superb this skin is. Next is gonna be Bonnie's skin Empress Bonnie. Being one of the few skins that Bonnie has, Empress Bonnie definitely takes the cake here. She's got the custom effects, animations, and texture along with being the only epic skin that Bonnie has. Just the different brawler model alone making Bonnie look evil is just a total flip of her personality compared to her default skin. Next is gonna be Gale's skin Squeak Buster Gale. Squeak Buster Gale is one of the few skins that actually has another brawler that's already in the game included in the skin's name. This skin has the custom effects, animations, and texture to give Gale that Ghostbuster look. It's cool that he has ghost hunting goggles on, along with the cute little ghost squeak being crossed out on his gun. Next is gonna be Colette skin Pinku Paulette. One of the skins that were added in the last update, Pinku Paulette Paulette brought out all the sims from hiding. It does have all of the color variations as well, giving players a variety to choose from. Now I could say that this skin is good because of the custom effects, animations, and texture, but we all know it's because of the brawler model, I mean come on now. Next is gonna be Bell skin Bell Goldhand. Released during Bell's season as the Brawl Pass exclusive, this is the best skin for Bell. The new gold bullet that she shoots out from her sniper rifle is better than her electro bolt. She has the golden sniper rifle now, along with her gold monocle that really turns Bell into Bell Goldhand. Next is gonna be Ash's skin Pinata Ash. Pinata Ash is gonna give me a lot of hate, but it really is the best Ash skin in the game. Him in that Pinata costume with the rope even having him float in the air is amazing detailing. He's got the custom effects, animations, and texture with this skin. He also has four legs with his new mace that shoots out candy. I mean, it's a great skin. Next is gonna be Lola's skin, Kitsune Lola. Kitsune Lola is a one-of-a-kind skin in Brawl Stars. She has her mask to look like Kitsune, along with her glowing yellow eyes, which none of the other Lola skins have. She also has the custom effects, animations, and texture. This 
This skin looks even cooler when you spawn in the clone and you have the replica of Kitsune Lola as well as the Kitsune. Next is gonna be Sam's skin, Dark Clown Sam. Dark Clown Sam was released with the Bizarre Circus season and gave the community a lot of mixed emotions. You either loved it because you weren't afraid of clowns or you hated it because you are afraid of clowns. Nonetheless, the value of this skin is unmatched. It's a super rare skin, but you also get the custom effects, animations, and texture for this good looking skin. Skin. Next is gonna be Mandy skin Hanbok Mandy. Hanbok Mandy is part of the Bountiful Harvest collection and is an epic skin for Mandy. It has the custom animations, effects, and texture that you would expect from this skin, along with some new main attack projectiles. I'm glad to see the Korean community get a skin dedicated to them. Next up is gonna be Maisie skin Marauder Maisie. Marauder Maisie gives Maisie a totally different look. She now has custom effects, animations, and texture with this skin. The unique design with her new hair and goggles definitely conveys the message of Maisie turning into a marauder and looking totally different compared to her other skins. Next is gonna be Hank's skin, Rodeo Hank. Rodeo Hank is the only mythic skin that Hank has. It was actually given away by a lot of the Supercell creators in the community. This skin has custom effects, animations, texture, and cosmetics. Now there is this meme going around about Hank's milk and if you don't know what it is, you don't want to know, okay? Next is going to be Pearl Skin Periscope Pearl. One of the very few skins that Pearl has, but this one is definitely the best. It was Pearl's Brawl Pass exclusive skin during her season that includes custom effects, animations, and texture. It's totally different because this turns Pearl not into a cookie making machine, but into a periscope for the fish that is swimming around in her stomach. Next is going to be Larry and Laurie's Controller Skin. The only skin that the twins have, so what other options can you go with for now? It is the greatest skin by any means but it's because it only changes the brawler model and texture but it is what it is for a rare skin. Next up is gonna be Angelo skin Elf Angelo. Just like the twins, Elf Angelo is Angelo's only skin at the moment. Not much to really say about a rare skin that only changes the brawler model and texture, so let's just move on, shall we? Next is gonna be Mortis' skin Mecha Mortis. Now, just like the other Mecha skins in the game, this one is considered to be superior to all the others. With how much the community loves Mortis, it's not shocking to see the community basically explode with Mecha Mortis. Being a legendary skin it has custom effects animations texture and a new voice next is going to be tara skin tempest tara another skin like rodeo hank this was also given away by official creators tara does have a lot of good skins but this skin gives off a new aura with tara she now has the green look and with her new effects animations and texture she reigns supreme as the best tara skin in brawl stars next is going to be gene skin evil gene hands down Evil Jean takes the crown as the best Jean skin. As an epic skin, it has custom effects, animations, sounds, voice, and texture. Things you would find in at least a mythic skin. Oh, and by the way, this skin just totally flips Jean's personality, making him one of the best skins in the entire game. Next is gonna be Max's skin, Coney Max. Coney Max is part of the Brown and Friends collection, and she is just super cute. She has her custom effects, animations, and texture. She still looks like Max with her overall color scheme and brawler model, but with her ginormous head and her new main attack projection, Tiles, it is way better than default max. Next is gonna be Mr. P skin Daruma Mr. P. Daruma Mr. P is one of the three super rare skins that Mr. P has. Overall, this one is gonna be the better one just by how different he looks compared to the other Mr. P skins. The animation is special as well with him having all of the Darumas out and around him ready to scout out those enemies. Next up is gonna be Sprout skin Lunar Sprout. Lunar Sprout being the only epic skin that Sprout has is part of the case to being the best Sprout skin. He also has custom effects, animations, and texture. The animation alone of him flying around and hovering above the ground is something that none of the other Sprout skins possess. Next up is gonna be Byron skin Ringmaster Byron. Ringmaster Byron is the only mythic skin that Byron has. This skin was also given away by the content creators during the Bizarre Circus season. This skin has custom effects, animations, texture, and all the cosmetics. The new 
flash effect from his super is one of a kind and his staff even has an eyeball that is moving like what? Next is gonna be Squeak skin Nerd Squeak. Nerd Squeak is shockingly the only epic skin that Squeak has. This skin has custom effects, animations, and texture, which by the way are on totally different tiers compared to the other Squeak skins. With this new attack animation having the symbols wrap around the blob, it is something that none of the other Squeak skins have. Next is gonna be Lou skin King Lou. King Lou was his Brawl Pass exclusive skin and still remaining to be his best skin in the game. He has this totally different facial expression that none of the other Lou skins have, setting him apart while also having the custom effects, animations, and texture. It's pretty funny that he stores that golden egg in his stomach compartment, like why does he do that? Next is gonna be Ruff skin Ronin Ruffs. Now just like King Lou, Ronin Ruffs is Ruffs' Brawl Pass exclusive skin. He has a fun animation of him throwing his gun into the air, going into the new battle stance, and still wagging his tail while looking so serious. Also with this skin, throwing his sword as his super just to give Ronin Ruffs a new look is just a job well done by the devs. Next is gonna be Buzz's skin Fenrir Buzz. Fenrir Buzz isn't even out by the time I'm filming this video, but the community is in love with this skin. With his new effects, animation, and texture, this is a skin that really changes who Buzz is. He turns into this mean looking Fenrir and is no longer this swaggy looking lifeguard. Next is gonna be Fang skin Furious Fang. Furious Fang just suits Fang too well. It should realistically be his default skin. People will argue about Kabocha Fang, but if they kept it looking like Spectral Fang, the original concept, that would help his case to being the best Fang skin. Furious Fang has just polished animations and his super effects are really clean as well, making him the best Fang skin in Brawl Stars. Next is gonna be Eve skin Baiku Eve. Baiku Eve has such an interesting animation that isn't seen commonly in Brawl Stars. She comes drifting into frame and is shown driving this futuristic hovering vehicle. She of course has a custom animation, effects, and texture to go along with this exclusive Lunar Brawl theme skin. Next up is gonna be Janet skin Lunar Janet. This one goes out to all you Janet simps out there watching. Lunar Janet is Janet's only mythic skin and for good reasons. This skin has custom effects, animations, texture, and all of the cosmetics. Just her new effects alone of her new projectiles and her dropping bunny bombs that turn into black holes got all of the sims going crazy. Next is gonna be Otis' skin, Oni Otis. Oni Otis is still gonna be the better Otis skin compared to even a W Otis. This skin has a cooler looking brawler model with the Oni mask at the top of his hose and even Sil has a custom model as well. This skin gives off a different vibe with Otis because he doesn't seem happy like you usually does, he looks more intimidating to say the least. Next up is gonna be Buster skin Crocodile Buster. Crocodile Buster is one of the few skins that Buster has. This skin has custom effects, animations, texture, and even a pin and player icon despite it being an epic skin. The animation of the crocodile circling Buster and then jumping into his arms is comical. Next is gonna be Grey skin Detective Grey. Detective Grey is also one of the few skins that Grey has. It's the only skin he has that is a super rare and that's the rarest skin he has. At least he still has the custom effects, animations, and texture. Come on Supercell, we need another Grey skin. Next is gonna be RT skin Crimson RT. Another brawler with few skins to choose from, so no argument with Crimson RT. This was his Brawl Pass exclusive skin, and this even transforms RT into something totally different looking. He even has the eyeball in the middle of his chest with matching yellow eyes with RT, making him look so vicious. Next is gonna be Willow skin Scorpion Willow. No question about Scorpion Willow being the best Willow skin. She literally only has this skin and Axel Willow, and uh, yeah, we don't have to go any further here. Next is gonna be Doug skin Draco Doug. Doug as well, not really having a lot of options besides Draco Doug and his true color skin, so let's go ahead and move on. Next up is gonna be Chuck skin Desert Scorpion Chuck. Now even though Desert Scorpion Chuck has not been released yet, there is no doubt that this skin is gonna be better than Inferno Chuck. This is gonna be a legendary skin with all of the aspects. It's gonna have custom effects, animations, voice, texture, a custom takedown, and all the cosmetics to go with it. You can't get it any better than that. Next is gonna be Charlie Charlie skin Rosie Charlie. Rosie Charlie is actually Charlie's Brawl Pass exclusive skin and it still remains to be the best Charlie skin. It's either this skin or Amazing Charlie and it, let's be real here, it's not that amazing. <laughs> 
Next is gonna be Miko skin Wukong Miko. Wukong Miko is a controversial one because it is indeed a legendary skin. The community believes it isn't worth it because of how good Grouch Miko is. However, you can't deny all of the effects, animations, texture, custom takedown effects that just amplify the skin to be the best. If both skins costed the same, which Miko skin would you choose? Next is gonna be Spike skin Toon Spike. Toon Spike was just released when the Cartoon Studios season launched and it took the community by utter shock. This is a legendary skin, however it is the most unique skin in the game due to the fact that it is two dimensional. It comes with a complete package of custom effects, animations, texture, a custom takedown, and all the cosmetics as well. Next is going to be Crow's skin Crowbone. Crowbone isn't the rarest skin that Crow has but it is in fact the best. The interesting brawler model of him having the bone mask on his face is something that none of the other crow skins possess, making him very special. He also has the unique blue daggers with green poison that shoot out, making it seem extra toxic. Next is gonna be Leon skin Mecha Leon. This skin isn't out yet, but we all know that these Mecha skins have a certain reputation to them. Coming in three different color variations, it gives the community a lot of options to choose from if they don't like the normal Mecha Leon. Becoming one of the newest legendary skins and being the best Leon skin, do you think Think it's worth buying Mecha Leon? Next is gonna be Sandy skin Lantern Sandy. Now Lantern Sandy really separates him from the pack of other skins mostly because of his amazing effects. He has the cool looking effects that appear during his Sandstorm Super that is nothing like the other Sandy skins. At least during his animation he gives a little bit more effort but ultimately he still goes back to sleep. Next up is gonna be Amber skin Frost Queen Amber. Frost Queen Amber is the definition of a flipped personality. From shooting out flames and lighting oil, you're now shooting ice and lighting more ice? Also, her animation of just floating in midair just makes it so much cooler despite her only being an epic skin. Wait, 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 she's only an epic skin? What? What the fuck? Next is gonna be Meg skin Megalodon. People thrash this skin for being a mythic skin and not seeing the value of it, but it is ultimately the best Meg skin. She has the custom effects, animations, texture, and cosmetics to go with the skin. Her new pirate theme with green glowing eyes and intimidating looking mecha suit is absolutely sick. Next up is gonna be Surge's skin Sergini. Just released a few days before I'm recording this video, and it is already the best Surge skin in the game. The animation has a lot of detail and polish, the custom effects is literally him shooting out his fist, and his super has some cool effects as well. I'm sorry DIY Surge, I still love you. Next up is gonna be Chester skin Loki Chester. Loki Chester is a skin that shocked everyone in the recent Brawl Talk. Chester will finally be getting a skin that doesn't totally creep the hell out of me. Next up is gonna be Cordelius' skin, Odin Cordelius. Odin Cordelius is another skin from the recent Brawl Talk that was buzzing throughout the community. It will have custom effects, animations, texture, along with a pin and profile icon, which is nice from Supercell. It just makes Cordelius look completely different because he no longer looks like a gardener from the Enchanted Forest. Next is gonna be Kit skin, Kit Boxer. Kit Boxer is one of the newest skins that came out last season on the Brawl Pass. It comes with three different color variations for those that want a bit of variety. Also considering that it is an epic skin compared to like Billy the Kid which is only a rare, there's no question that Kit Boxer is going to be the better skin. Will there guys go the best skins for every single brawler inside of Brawl Stars? Let me know in the comments down below which skins you agree with and which skins you disagree with. Well anyway guys, if you guys enjoyed that ranking video, I highly recommend you guys go check out this ranking video right here.